All right, guys, this is Travis, and we're back at it for another sharking expedition. So I'm starting off back in Texas. This is the first time I'm back home to Texas. I'm gonna miss Florida and the fishery, but I'm not gonna miss the drama out of control. Anyway, so I'm starting back in the Texas Shark Rodeo. This is trip number one. Starting this year like I ended last year as far as the freezing cold in Matagorda. I did not know it would be so cold but it is cold, it is what it is. So I'm fixing to start with the surf rods and then hopefully by the time I get wet and warm, I'm gonna start yakking. You know, also one thing that's really cool about Texas is I could do these intros in the, in the truck like this and literally open my door and be at the beach with no one around because I drove 19 miles down the beach, 18 miles down the beach, check this out. Really cool, really cool. It's amazing. Okay, first drop of the year. Want to give you a little bit of an update. It's about two o'clock. I am fishing solo. I want to show you guys where I'm at, but before I do, I want to give a shout out to a couple sponsors first. Gannett USA Drones. Chris, appreciate you, man. Gannett Drones. Got it myself a drone. We were making leaders. Appreciate you. Also to Blue Chum Outfitters, all right? Get some shirts, go to bluechumoutfitters.com, all right? It's really cool. Check out where we're at, all right? I missed, uh, I missed one. All right, we got my 80s out, okay? And the other 80s out, we got the silver and the black. I'm about to take uh, the spinner. I'm about to put that out, that's a jack piece right there. This is the one I uh, missed earlier. Missed that hook set. It is what it is, sometimes you miss some. But uh, working hard, working solo. Uh, right now, like I said, I could do it solo. I don't want to, but I'm all set up. If I catch uh, a fish, I could tag, release, get a DNA sample, all solo. Pretty much uh, pretty piece, pretty much piece of cake. Check out what I got on casted. Boy, a baby bull. Look at it. That's wild. I'm gonna get a back real quick. Probably put a tag in. All right, let's get this little bull shark back in quick. There it goes. So this thing just went airborne like crazy. Jumped out of the water, I don't know, four times? That was crazy. Woo! This fish is spunky. That was wild. I mean, that fish went airborne. It's close. I had to go get the GoPro real quick. I'm gonna have to do this solo, so that should be interesting. Like I said, I'm ready.
All right, looks like I have a decent sized bull. From the looks of it. Maybe like a five foot bull. I cannot believe this thing jumped the way it did. Okay, here we go. Nice. Oh. Okay, right on. Big old tipper. We got five foot ten. Five foot ten by five foot. Okay, I just got a five foot ten tipper right here. All right, guys, I'm on the board with two sharks, and I forgot to mention guess who's in first place so far this year in the Texas Shark Rodeo. Yes, Ron Richman. Ron, I'm gonna to try to catch up to you. I got two uh, sharks in right now. I'm about to send out the cast out again. I wanna show you guys what I'm using for bait and how I'm setting it up to cast out. Check this out. So, I'm just using a jack piece and what I'm doing to cast out is I'm putting that barb and the hook over the leg like that. So that, that has a loop. What will happen is when I throw that, it'll come undone but it's gonna be ha not half the size, but a little bit uh, less than half the size when I throw it, so it's gonna be a lot more manageable. I'm gonna go do that right now. I'm trying not to get this shirt wet. I'm trying not to get this shirt wet, but uh, who knows? See, that came undone. All right. All right, you guys, so I got three lines out again. I got the spinner out. And I obviously got the two yak rods out. So I'm still in business. I'm trying to get three more sharks. I want to get five sharks total. And that way kind of I get to make a splash on the rankings for the Texas Shark Rodeo. So that's what I'm working towards anyways. Why else would I be freezing cold doing this for little tiny sharks? I love it. That's why. Thank you, Texas, for the rodeo. See you guys. Back. I'm going to try to start a fire right now. I'm going to use this black beard fire starter kit. We're gonna see how this works. Hopefully it works well. Basically in Texas, we could just go around the dunes and find wood and uh, start a fire with it. So let me show you what I'm working with right here. Just real quick. Got all this wood here. Okay, all that wood. And then I got all that wood too I collected. Let's see if we can make this work. <laughs> epic. Woo. So 
So this is all from just wood that I got lying around in the dunes. So I'll throw all this on top of there also in a minute, but it's nice to have warmth. It's nice to have warmth. 